and I can't like she just has to carry stuff for me all the time, no matter what and no matter where we go. <laughs> and and yeah, sometimes she, cards. <laughs> and sometimes she, she'll die uh, and I'll get a new one. So I know you guys don't really care, but uh, uh, I mowed my lawn. Super excited nice. about that. Yeah. You're right. Nice. You're what? <laughs> no, I really don't care. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Listen, bro. Uh, just you know, I, I don't know if you saw I the really condition don't. it was in, but it was pretty bad. It was just, you know. It's because Cody doesn't have a yard right now. He doesn't. Really, he doesn't have that. 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 You can make the, the argument that I've never really had a yard. Well, okay. I thought you had like nice grass back in. Yeah, California, but he didn't, didn't he? do anything with it. Yeah, my folks did all that. <laughs> this next house, though, you know, this is going. <laughs> this is going in the episode. Oh yes, yeah, folks. Cody doesn't mow his own lawn. Hey. Cody will be getting a house. Oh, he'll be well, getting a house, go. and he'll t- then he knows what's going on. He he just doesn't have that. He hasn't um, what's it transcended to that level of where he starts. You know, he has kids, and he's going to entertain some friends and family and whatever over. And he walks or gets home from work, and he walks up and realizes that it's rained or not rained, and it's seven foot tall grass to where you argue with everybody around you that you're, you're not ignoring your yard. You're just a grass seed farmer. Um, and that you're waiting for the seed to produce, um, because it can get that long. Um, I, it's, I have a love hate relationship, right? I, I 100% hate doing yard work. Some people love it. Like I remember pastor Dave talking about it all the time. He loved doing yard work. It is not for me pulling weeds and treating my yeah, stuff and making everything look clean. I don't like doing it, but it's like, it's like putting on a sharp suit. You know what I mean? Like once you put it all on, you're just like, man, it looks clean. Yeah. You know? but I'd and rather, I'd rather pay someone like to do it. it. I'd yeah, rather pay someone well, to do it. And cause, cause I'll be honest with you. The, the way I say the love hate is dude, it looks, it's sexy when it looks good. Like you yeah. feel good about your, you feel good about your place. You feel good about your house. Uh, I get really conscious about that. Like we, you know, we're going to be looking for our, our house out here and we've been, you know, we've had a couple of other houses, but I remember like when we looked at our first house, I was telling Julie, I was like, I really want a nice backyard. And she's like, why? And I was like, because, you know, we're going to be having kids here in the future and I want people, you know, and our first backyard was terrible. Uh, actually, Cody helped me put grass in, in the back in that backyard just to make it somewhat usable. Those were the days. Those were the, oh, days. Those were the days. So I got to, uh, I know... Andy's kind of sort of stance. Uh, Cody, are you looking at like land or are you looking at like track home done complete easy mo done? Uh, I do not have the facilities for building my own house on land. Well, that's uh, not necessarily where I mean, he's going. I, mean, but I apologize. So yeah, 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 I mean like, like maybe a couple acres with the house already built on it. Is that what you're looking for? Or are you looking more like quarter acre, half acre? Because what did you have? Uh, I'm looking there? for something. About a quarter acre? I'm looking for nope. something with four walls um, and <laughs> that is relatively close to an on ramp, so that my commute won't be you know an hour and a half hey, during school days. Okay. <laughs> so his last house was like a little over 900 square feet down by the river. Honestly, he, it's getting there. He is building. <laughs> he is building a family. So I can tell you at where Cody's at, and where I was at when I had kids, I didn't want a bunch of land. Now I've always had a, an aspiration to live away from people, so that's more my desire of owning land. That and I'm a big cheapskate, like in in all things in life. Like I do not like paying for anything. So if I can get land and get an agricultural exemption because I got to throw a cow or some goats on it. Your boy's going to become a farmer. No, I, bro. I, I honestly, I was against buying anything other than an acre. And after we were talking about that whole thing, now I'm like, all right, maybe we should rethink this, this five acre plus plot with a house on it, which I mean, you know, to, to give you guys, I, I mean, I want you guys to picture this while I'm mowing my lawn today. I mean, I'm, I'm imagining myself on 
my tractor, my riding lawnmower, um, you know, with my shirt off and my cowboy hat on. I don't need to you know, imagine um, this. And I'm just, and I'm rolling around and I'm like, yeah, this is great. Like, you know, the wind blowing in my hair, a little bit I have, you know, it's going to be fantastic. You have hair? Not much. Not much, bro. <laughs> I've never met you, so. <laughs> that sounds, I'm that's, curious. That's legit. He never takes his mask off, guys. So I really I mean, don't know what he looks like. In all like. honesty, people can't actually see the podcast, but if they were looking at our chat right or our video chat right now, none of us have our own face as our icon. That's we true. Do, we yeah, do we legit are. have real people, but we do not have our own faces. Co- Cody and I have pictures. Uh, I have Gangster Andy. Um, maybe maybe I should post that on the Twisted World you page. Sh- no, that's a, that's a long time <laughs> past. <laughs> it's legit though it was a decision i made and i live Dang. i don't regret it i don't regret it it was a good time um felt good looking good kind of thing you know you know so, thought, hey before actual selfies came out is when you would go and take a picture in a mirror that's what that was yeah. <laughs> and then i don't know what was happening in the one with cody Lewis. looking good <laughs> cody's got like uh that that was your like parent, it's it's like a dish. It, it's kind of a like a thiz face. Uh, it's where you you in the description of a thiz face because no one will know what that means unless they know what that means is you you put a look on your face like you smell some pee, right? You should have let Cody describe it. I'm really curious to know how he would. Well, I mean, <laughs> it's, it goes it's with a terrible song. I mean, it's that face you make like uh, it's like seems good, you know, when you're and you're like good enough. It's, yeah. it's a very, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Like you respect what you said. Yeah. I can agree with that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. like shrugging yeah. without your shoulders. Yeah. It, you're, it, you're face shrugging. It's almost a frown, but you're doing it in like a smiling way. If that makes it's sense. A positive frown. It's, it's a positive. Yeah. Frown. Yeah. And then just a shout out. Cause we have to shout it out is I have a picture of Gabe whose name has been dropped on the podcast a couple of times. A few times, yeah. Uh, but yeah, the story behind that picture is a lot of fun. He took a picture at work, and it was really goofy, and I made him fun of him, and he did Scorch Earth, where he deleted it from everywhere and then took a new picture where he's frowning. And but lo uh, and behold. <laughs> I was able to pull it from a backup. So it has lived on into perpetuity. And here we are, like seven years later, and I'm still using it. So... Anyways, uh, good times. Good times. You think, he'd get us, think he'd get us for defamation if we posted his picture on the on the social media nah, site? Nah. <laughs> oh, I mean, he just jumped randomly in chat the other day and was like, nice I've seen picture. That. Yeah. Yeah. yeah hey. Which I think Cody was like hey. laughing at because he's like, the game's like MIA forever and then just jumps in the chat. I mean, it may have been provoked. I was talking to him uh, off offline, but still. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, now that we've talked about mowing lawns and, and awesome pictures. So recently in the news, um, we all know the beloved Queen Elizabeth the second. Is was she the second? I think she was the second, yeah. She was the last. Ooh. Oh, hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> uh she has passed away. Um I failed to look it up. I'm assuming it was just old age, right? Yeah, I mean, she was 96, I think. I didn't see, I didn't, I guess I really didn't read. And listen, I mean, I'm going to be as sensitive as possible, but this is America. And uh, I don't really have, I'm, unless you're like into more, because let's be real. Nowadays, it's more like a culture reference that she's the queen than it is actually like a political yeah. figure of any kind. Yeah, she has no power. Let's be real. She, yeah, Part I mean, no power. But, but there'll be some stuff that we could talk about as far as like, like she's, pretty legit when it comes to it right you think about like the fact that she became she became heir to the throne at 10 when her uncle abdicated the throne right which is first off like just the worst thing to do is abdicate right so she wasn't even in line for the throne at all but because her uncle abdicated the throne had no children it goes to her and by at 21 her dad passes and during her 21st birthday while she's traveling through the nations of the British empire. She, I think she's in Africa. She does this broadcast. And in the midst of this broadcast, she is talking about dedicating her life. Could you imagine? I mean, like I I, I'm not, I'm not, we're not old, but could you guys imagine at 21 going on? Like you've only known you're going to be heir to the throne for 11 years and going on a mic and telling 
a, one of the largest, you know, the population in the world at the time that you are willing to dedicate your entire life to duty and to ask them to join you in that, that oath and then to do it. Right. Like, so what exactly was she dedicating herself to? I missed this. So I, when, I understand that she was in Africa, but what, what was that? To being the queen. She's dedicated. She oh, was, it was before gotcha. her, um, what do they call that? When you, they basically put the crown on you in the robe and the, uh, I don't want to call it an inauguration. Uh, Is it called an inauguration? Uh, they call it something. Uh, yeah, I mean, anyways, same difference. whatever. But the point is, is that 21 years old, she, it may be, I don't know. At 21 <laughs> years old, she finds out her dad's dead and she's on her 21st birthday. And she has, in my mind, like this is the stuff that I think we're missing today. She has, she does a selfless act of basically getting on the mic and dedicating herself at 21. Bro, at 21, like, I was just trying to figure out what video games I could play over here dedicating her life to the, to, you know, God I mean, country. She's been, she's been raised her whole life in this. Like I she's been she's completely been understand. This. Completely understand. You were you were raised and prepared to be that gamer. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. I'm just saying <laughs> though. Even she had a choice because her uncle before her had a choice and decided to abdicate. Her kids that are her grant her kid. We'll see if if King Charles the Third is going to be anything or is it third? Yeah, it's a third. Um, yeah. We'll see what his kids end up being. Right. Um, but we may never see the like of her kind. The point I'm trying to make is that she did something that is just kind of, you know, yeah, l- no, longest right. living monarch. Was she? Yep, longest wow. living monarch of the king for 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 England. I, I guess seventy I wanna, some years. I want to start off with all the craziness, right? So she passes away, and social media blows up, right? And when I say blow up, I'm saying in predominantly Americans. Like in this time of mourning, I'm like, not a single one of you's from England. Not a single one of you's ever been to England. I get it that that a country's ruler has passed away after living a long, fantastic life. Okay, I get it. But why this mass social media outrage? Like, who was she to all these people? Let's be real. Well, I think it's like anything else today, right? So we we're so quick to jump to systematic this systematic that that's there's something wrong with the world that we live in i mean the british empire was like every other empire and colonized right they essentially wanted colonization throughout the world where they would come in and try to make it their own there are good things and bad things to those things right um essentially coming in and conquering a nation and setting up shop and baking it your own um isn't always the greatest thing when you're trying to essentially conquer the world. But at the same time, some of these nations that they did bring this stuff into and modernize have been better for it later down the road, such as like places like India, right? We've seen a lot of innovation and that type of stuff that may not have been there. Same thing with Africa or South Africa. Like certain parts of the world would not have been where they're at, may, maybe sophisticatedly enough or whatever, I, you know, like whatever. I, I'm, I'm not by any means an expert on this, but because of those types of things engaging – um, you have uh, good things and bad things that come from it. And um, I think you've got a group of people that are, I think it's just nasty. Like she, she was never, a, I wouldn't call her a tyrant or a villain. And she inherited the British empire and was part of its disillusion, right? Where she, or dis, where it dis, well, they dissolved it, right? Essentially the British empire came, I don't want to call it, it's not an empire anymore. It basically was dissolved and all of its holdings in like India and Australia and some of these other places eventually went away. So she was part of that change. Um, but yet she's blamed for all her predecessors and everything that came before. So it's, just, I think it's just another one of those things where it's just cancel and people just want to cancel out and blame them for all the bad things that ever happened in life. So, uh, Cody had found something, right? Cody, something about, a, a prince or somebody in Australia should actually be the rightful heir to the throne. Um, yeah, yeah, he lives in Australia. He is the the true king of England. Has been for, I think, as long as he's lived, pretty much. Because he's is like, he, you know, I don't. Uh, but I just know that he's male, so he would get it instead of the. He's sixty nine. What's, what's, what's the relation here? What do? Like, he is the heir general to George and a Palagent. I can't pronounce it. It's the younger brother of Edward the uh, Fourth of England. If Edward the Fourth had been illegitimate, 
if Edward the Fourth had been illegitimate and the crown of England ha- had descended by male preference uh, before 1500, then George would have been the monarch of England. So there is a there's a path where they're saying he's the true whatever, but um, I don't know what it means by if Edward the Fourth had been illegitimate. Yeah, it was meaning that he, yeah, if Edward the Fourth had not been Edward, like actual king to the throne, the crown would have passed over to uh, the second son, right? And it would have gone to George, and he's of the lineage of George. So I think there's an argument as to whether or not King Edward the Fourth was legitimate or not. Uh, And if I understand correctly, is this the guy? No, that's not the guy that abdicated. That's the guy that was like way back when. Um, but I think the lineage of King Edward the Fourth is where she comes from. You know, she the it, it, because of the Edward line, King Edward becomes or he's going to become king, and then he abdicates. Edward abdicates, and it becomes the father. And I can't remember what is her dad's name, Edward, or what was what was. I'm butchering all this right now as we're talking, but I, I'm pretty sure that her father's name was George. Sorry, her father's name was George, and I think he had a younger brother named edward yes so he had a young yeah so he became king edward the right the eighth became king of of the british empire um on january 20th 1936 but he abdicated by december of that same year so he was very short term king uh, but he was king and so had edward the fourth been found to be illegitimate meaning that he wasn't, you know, he was a bastard child. Uh, essentially, that line would have changed. It wouldn't have gone to her. It would have gone to George, the younger brother, just like what happened so, in the abdication. So George gets the shaft because he's illegitimate or his lineage is illegitimate. No. Is that right? No, no, no. George is legitimate. The argument is that the brother Edward the Fourth is not legitimate. And so I, I, I watched a little Ooh. bit of the clip. There's a whole, there's a, like a 2004 documentary where they talk about it, right? There's, I guess there's some, some conspiracy around the idea that King Edward the fourth, which is from like the 1400s, uh, was not a legitimate heir or a legitimate person, uh, to person in the family. So I, I don't know, I don't know enough about the history there, but that was one of the things I saw when, when we were talking about this is like, Hey, like uh, not to make light of someone dying, but with the queen passing and a new king happening, and this is happening during the time, it makes sense to have let's have some conspiracy talks, some mystery talks around maybe England and the throne and stuff like that. And I don't know how you can have this conversation without talking about this because this is like probably the most recent thing that's come uh, was this 2004 documentary, and I didn't realize it was so far back because I remember talking, you know, hearing about this. Uh, but it's been kind of going on for a little while, but yeah, he's, uh, he, I guess he's an Earl. He's the 14th Earl of, I'm going to butcher it. It says Ludon, Ludon, uh, but he's British and Australian farm. He's a British and Australian farmer uh, is who, what he is, but he is an Earl. Um, but he's so far down the, you know, the trail that he, it, it, he'll never be, he'll never be King, but there's an argument there that if it was le- legitimate, he would be so. Don't know. Uh, apparently, he was born in Sussex, England, which is, you know, anyone that's a Vikings fan, we all know Sussex. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's where I know my history from, the Vikings. Yes. Thank you, Netflix. <laughs> but anyways, um, I don't. I mean, there's there's not a lot of fruit there, right? I mean, we can we can go down that if we want to research and kind of figure out kind of where this came from. But the problem is, is that back then they, there wasn't enough to say that it was illegitimate and, and, and it's not going to change now, right? It's not, they're not going to go back and course correct and make him a King, but there's an argument to say that there is a, a mystery and shroud around that family. Uh, and because of it, he would have been King, not her. Now he's 20 years. Well, I guess not 20 years. He's like 11 years younger than her. So, when this thing happened, when the king abdicated the throne, um, he wouldn't have been old enough to actually. I guess he could. Have, I don't know. Was there an age that you have to be to be king? Uh, I don't know. I mean, if there is, it can't be that old of a law because I, I, I mean, they've had 
13 year olds or, or teenagers, excuse me, you know, on the throne due to death and, and whatnot and marriage and all that. But who knows? Well, okay. So I'm reading no it up. It, basically, you have to be, you know, you have to be born to be a, a part of the family, but there is no right. age restriction. So essentially, if she was 21 and she's 11 years older than him, he would have been 10 if he was heir to the throne. Now, I mean, that's not true I, because yeah, the other running a country. Well, it, the other thing is, too, that it would have gone back and there would have been. Um, well, actually, I think what happens in that situation when there is a 10 year old running a country is he doesn't actually run the country. I believe the 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 queen predecessor does in 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 his stead until he comes of age. I could be wrong. But if my understanding is correctly, like if the king dies and there's a queen, when he bec- becomes heir to the throne she would be or the, or his mother or somebody would be kind of acting in that role until he's old enough or, or basically with him to make the decisions. I, I don't know. But uh, anyways, if, if this were all real, he actually wouldn't have been 10 because it, the lineage would have changed all the way back. Right. So none of the Edwards following up Edward the fourth would have existed. And there have been eight of those. What I, what I did find, I find interesting was, did you actually see how many names Charles had to pick from? No, he has four it's first f- names. So what? he could. Yes. Uh, let, let's look at that. Let's look up King Charles and you guys can hear me type. So it'll be fun. Um, but he has, let me pull up his actual, you know, it'd be easy if the internet just worked. He has four names. I think his name is actually like, what is his birth name? Of course they've removed it now that his actual name is here, but it's like Philip Charles. It's a re- that he has Philip Charles, um what was he born okay born prince charles of you know that's not gonna do it either philip it's like philip charles edward arthur you know of, of, of windsor or something like that right so he could choose any of those names for his title but he's you know pretty much con- i got 10 names bro yeah actually oh, here it is charles philip arthur george so he could have chose any of those names and he chose charles the third because he's gone by charles for as long as he's gone but he could have been any of those which I thought was interesting. Um, so that's pretty cool. But speaking of Charles, right? I mean, here he is, 73, getting his first job. That's great. Um, I think the biggest thing you kind of have to surround around him is, okay, we'll see what kind of king he's going to be. He's not, I don't know that he's around for a super long time, being 73. But you really have to talk about Princess Diana. And I think that's one of the biggest you know, conspiracy mysteries around the royal family well, besides before, maybe before, this whole thing before before we get into that I, I just want to throw something crazy out so you have a couple princes that shows up to her visual right prince andrew and prince harry now prince harry we know is the one that uh married what's her name Meghan markle is that right yeah what the like actress yeah or i think she was, was an actress or something so um both of these guys both these princes served quite a long time in the military, the British Royal military. And so Prince Harry, and well, excuse me, and they both lost their military status for two different reasons. One, Harry, because of course he stepped down as his senior role, which we all know when he came to America and said, he was, hey, I'm stepping down, I'm gonna go to America. So he lost his, his military stat- status, right? So he, of course, was told he could not wear his um, military gear right um so said hey you're showing up the vigil you could not wear your military uniform at her at her vi- final vigil wow really he couldn't wear it to the uh, to the it, funeral it gets better though prince andrew was stripped of his military status because of um roles in a sexual scandal okay but he was he was allowed to wear his to her vigil. Now, Andrew, isn't that Charles's brother? I believe. Yeah, I'm gonna say I think he's one of the younger brothers. I could, I could be wrong, but anyways, uh, but they allowed him to wear it. And who who's the one that gets to say whether or not they get to do this? I mean, I have wouldn't no it idea. be the I'm king? Part, I I guess. But I, I don't even know if he's in his right mind. Have you seen him? Like pictures of him lately? Hey, he's an old, he's an older dude. The dude's been waiting <laughs> around for all these years. He's like, man, he's, come on, mom. He's, he's like, I got my time. 
Uh, so I don't know. I don't know who makes that decision, but I saw an article about it. It was this, this big ordeal. How Harry, because he chose to step step down out of his leadership position, um, was told he couldn't wear his his British military uniform after serving 10 years and multiple tours of Afghanistan. Yeah. But here's my thought though, this whole thing. So I, I don't know much about this because again, we're from the United States, right? I'm, uh, we're an American. Right. We, we essentially America's founded on the idea that we wanted to get away <laughs> from this crap. Me with Facebook and Instagram, but Hey, what are you talking anyway, about? What are you talking about? I'm talking about all the, the millions of people that went out like, Oh, God rest the queen. Oh, no, no, no. I, I'm not the speaking queen. for other people. I'm speaking for myself, I'm right? The, the, oh, yeah, yeah. No, America's here because we didn't want to be under the monarch. We want to be by right. the people, for the people, right? So right. The, the point I'm trying to make is I'm not trying to insult anyone, but I, I could care less how the, the royal family wants to do their own stuff. But that being said, if I was if, – if my hat hung on the idea that I had to follow up in my father's business – no matter what I did, if I decided to walk away from my father's business, like if that was the way it was supposed to work, like there's no guarantee that I'm going to get my father's business back later on. Oh, but away Prince, from Prince it. Andrew was, was, uh, had charges of sexual assaults of a minor in the United States and an undisclosed amount was settled out of court. So, uh, like I, anybody else, by the way, that's, statutory rape or any other charges that that would be brought up well, as 100%. felonies in this so country. We're, so we're, so we're, talking we're talking about elites. We're talking about elites, right? Yeah, and at the end of the I day, everything with regards to the back. royal family is about perception. Yeah. The reality is right now, Harry and Meghan Markle are in the news. They're in the, the media, media's eyes, and they're causing a stink, especially like Meghan. Meghan Markle has caused so much of a stink. Now, again, I'm not in pop culture references, so I could give a crap and I don't really know a lot about it, but I see, I mean, listen, when you get so loud that someone that doesn't care at all about it happens to know anything about it, like myself, I'm online. It pops up on my news feeds or when I'm on Facebook or Twitter or whatever, and I just graze over it. But she, I mean, she's the devil reincarnate is how I feel, but she's just one of those people that have like torn the family apart. She's claimed racism against the family. Her kids, I guess don't get titles. I didn't know that. Are you talking about Meghan Markle? I am talking about Meghan Markle. Really? I didn't know all that. Yes. The kids, uh, apparently the kids get titles now that she's passed. I don't know how that works. Again, this is different for us, but, um, I don't know that there anything good has come from her being a part of the family. And so, him not there's nothing wrong with him choosing to go away from his family i guess for them there is everything wrong but because that's the way that they were raised but for him choosing to go away from his family there that comes with consequences right if you're in a royal family and you know how things are supposed to work and you know how things are supposed to work go when you go and decide to do something else you you don't get the benefits of the thing you walk away from right so it's one of those things where uh, I'm trying to pitch it like uh, put it in a, in a the the brother that abdicated the throne didn't go away. Oh, well, essentially didn't disappear. He lived for quite some time. Right. Prince or King Edward the eighth. Right. Um, he wanted to marry, I believe, a divorcee that was like a actress or something like that. And that was part of the reason why he abdicated the throne is because he wanted to be able to go off with her. Right. He did that. I, I, I if I understand correctly, like the family told him he needed to leave. So he moved to America. He lived in America for years and would only come back uh, apparently when he wanted to make a stink in public through newspaper publications and interviews and those types of things in a way I saw this conspiracy. It's, it's, it's not really a conspiracy. I guess it's out there to get, get more money so that the, the Royal family would essentially still flip the bill for some of his stuff and give him money. But essentially he, what he was basically being paid to go away, get out of the limelight and go away, stop associating with us. We don't want you to be a problem. And so because he wasn't a problem, he wasn't allowed to come to things. He wasn't allowed to be around things. He wasn't allowed. To, I think, I, I think he had a title. I think he was a Duke. I don't really remember, but it was one of those situations where, he didn't even really make an egregious thing. He just chose to marry someone that was divorced and was an actress and American. And, um, yeah. but that's how they yeah, punish a... those that are in the limelight. Andrew to me wasn't in the limelight. However, I believe if I and quote me if I'm wrong, I thought I heard Prince Andrew was one of the ones that was friends with, uh, Epstein. 
He was. Yeah. And we used to go to Epstein Island. Right. And again, had charges of sexual misconduct with a minor. Right. Like, but again, just, that was in the news and I remember it, it and it disappeared. Right. But of course. in the world, in the world we live in today, and even though I don't, I 100% agree with you, he shouldn't have been able to do any of this stuff. In the world we live in today, the ones that get the, the make the loudest noise are the ones that get the attention. And in the, in the, in the eyes of the Royal family, I have a hard time. I, I'm actually shocked that with King Charles becoming King or Prince Charles becoming King, that he didn't undo that and allow his family to be back in. So to me, as far as like the standards of the Royal family, I'm, I think that's good that he didn't undo some of the things that the queen did, uh, because you've seen a lot of like conforming with stuff like the Pope, right? We know the Pope now has, the, has allowed for more things that we would have never seen in the church, uh, to become a thing. But I, I'm just I'm interested to see if he's going to kind of undo some of the royal doings uh, now as king and say that, oh, these things are OK. You can marry a commoner. You can you, these people can have titles and you can do this and you can do that and, and everything. Cody's over here well, playing cards while we're on the uh, podcast. I can I hear him. I just put him away. I want to know. Shuffling. I want to know what you guys. What, are we going to start the podcast soon? <laughs> yeah we're getting right here right now get ready uh, you'll right. hear craig come and jump in and and let us know sounds good sounds good so what do you guys uh let's let's just talk about conspiracy theories around the royal family what do you guys got right any, any anything fun yeah oh, like, i not uh, talking about conspiracy theories for the last like 20 minutes no that stuff is real i think for the most part right i mean we're, we're all talking about i i don't i think that's all out in the open andrew Harry, these guys are just a bunch of dirtbags. Yeah, bag, yeah. I mean, know? maybe the maybe the farmer. I mean, I guess it's not a, a conspiracy uh, as much as it is real. Because well, that's lineage, right? I mean, they, it's they lineage. know that. It's just kind of it's kind of like a flip of a coin if it's real or not. Uh, I mean, not real, but if if it really was illegitimate. But I want to. I, mean, I want to know. Cody, do you have anything like uh, conspiracy theories? Yeah, yeah. Um, I uh, so there. I have a few. Let's, um, let's, let's hear the good. I'll, I'll lay them on you. So the first one we can talk about is that, um, as I read this in an article earlier this week, um, a lot of articles coming out this week, you guys, with the new with the queen dying and everything, right? Right. Um, like stuff got released and leaks and uh, WikiLeaks, all that fun stuff. Um, uh, so I read this article that uh, the queen's been dead for um, – how long ago was uh, was World War Two? Probably a pretty long no. time ago. <laughs> hey, hey! I texted <laughs> in that group the other day. I said, "Guys, she's been dead all along." See, so see, Andy's got it right, and I'm and I'm with you. And so I, she's been dead <laughs> since World War Two, and uh, right? How? Yeah, yeah. World War Two, and yeah. yeah. How long ago was that? Like sixty, uh, sixty some years. Eighty. 80 some 80 years. years, 80 years. Roughly. Yeah. So she, yeah. she, so she was actually never like really the queen, I guess. Like she was, just, she, so she's a cyborg. I'll just cut to the chase. Right. <laughs> so, and, uh, she, wait, 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 she didn't become queen until 52. She never became queen. And so I, yeah, mm-hmm. that's my whole thing is that it was never really her because then we have to get, Sorry, I'm eating a ho ho. Uh, we can tell no, we, we heard the rapper and the scarfing of it down your mouth while you're talking. <laughs> no, it's something yeah. like Cody, where you where you're listening, you make sounds and people like love it's listening. ASMR to again. ASMR, We're just, ASMR, yeah. Here we are. <laughs> um, gross. And um, so she's a cyborg. So she's a cyborg, and she never became queen because uh, I think the the king before her was like assassinated um, by one of. Uh, Hitler's um, closest um, sleeper agents. And so uh, King was assassinated and they kidnapped her and they tortured. I think they tortured her for like years after that, but they replaced her with like some of her parts and then like uh, also like half cyborg parts, kind of like they did with the birds thing. The birds aren't real stuff like the U.S. government and the birds. So they used the kind of some of the same, you know, um, technology. She is Robo Bird Cop, yeah. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> what, what's, what's Robo Cop's catchphrase? No. It's uh, what was it? Um, oh, it's, it's gonna kill me. Die, creep. <laughs> oh, he's like, 
<laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I need to look it up. Robocop. Robocop. Yo, 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 yo move, creep. Yo, yo move, creep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So that was, um, yeah, that was her catchphrase. It was, yo move, creep. And uh, she. <laughs> this is a tiny little British lady. You got to do it in a British voice, though, bro. <laughs> She's got like Terminator glasses on. It's like, yo move, creep. <laughs> <laughs> from the throne <laughs> anyway yeah and that's why she's lived so long uh is because yeah, and they figured you know like hey guys listen they're gonna start asking questions if she lives past 100 so we need to cut this so, you know so we, who we do all these kids out. belong to then what kids i mean she popped out some kids bro <laughs> i mean yeah those are all sleeper agents from the from world war ii those are they're all germanic all of them they're purebred german <laughs> Oh my god. They're all you praise <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, hey, listen, can't. think about it. Okay. Listen, guys, guys, track with me. Track with me. Okay. Okay. All right, all right. We the the United States and 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 England, we didn't win World War Two. We didn't. No? No, we didn't. So and and you want proof? I'll give you proof. Whose cars okay. are we driving today? Hmm? I mean, see, a lot of, <laughs> see an awful lot of Hondas. See an awful lot of Hondas on the road, don't we? <laughs> awful lot of Hondas. Awful lot of Volkswagens. Okay. All right. Well, we, uh, there's, um, there's some Ford and Chevy out there. I don't. I don't know if. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know if you've noticed, but we're 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 buying all their stuff. Um, but we're driving all their cars. So I mean, who really won? You know what I mean? We we in that war we lost so much. Our, our, we went into a depression. It was gnarly. You know what I mean? True. So I mean, who who really? It really won. Uh, I, I think the Germans won World War Two. Now that's a whole no, now that's a whole nother uh, that's a whole nother uh, topic. We can talk, yeah. we, we can do an episode on that. But um, but yeah, no. So they're all sleeper agents, um, and um, th- there's a plan here, but that all hasn't been revealed quite yet. It's bigger than we know, um, and it goes really deep. And uh, yeah. So uh, that's theory number one. You guys have any comments, questions, concerns? Are you guys with me? Are you tracking? Do you feel like it's plausible? No, nah, there's a lot of holes in that theory there. Do tell. It's, uh, it's, uh, do tell. <laughs> it, wow. Where do I begin? Where do I begin? Um, no. No. I, I, how, no. How do you entertain that? World War, II, World War II ends in 45, and she takes over in in 52, but somehow she died before that or never existed like at all. And it's apparently she was kidnapped when? Before World War Two, so you're talking to me before she was born. No, she was born. Dear. She was like what? She was like a teenager during World War Two. Yeah, uh, thirty-eight, right? If, I, if I'm understanding well, yeah. correct, where yeah, was she born? I don't know. I'll look it up right now. Yeah, she's born. World War Two started in thirty-nine. That's when it started. Mm-hmm. And Queen Elizabeth was born in. Whenever my internet works. I have a wiki just being on the top. 46. She was born in 46? Uh, no, sorry, 26. Yeah. Born in 26. So she yeah. would be 13 years old. She was 13 right. years old. Yeah. Lines up. Nah. No, it nah. doesn't line up? Nah. That doesn't make sense. Wait, why not? That she was kidnapped and murdered or somehow turned into a cyborg? Listen, I don't have all the details. I know she was kidnapped at Clearly 13. Clearly, you've got I don't, details. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know when. I don't know when they finally put the nail in her coffin. You know what I mean? I wasn't there. Your boy wasn't there. But and so when she was in when she was in Africa and she dedicated her life, of course, she was a robot. So she's like, "Hey, I'm going to dedicate my life to be." Doesn't that sound like a drama? That actually makes more sense, right? right? So, I mean, right. a 21 year old dedicating her life very systematically. Wow. See, now you guys are tracking. I'm glad you guys are on board with this. <laughs> was this before or after the birds were eliminated? I think the the uh, first bird war was going on still. Got it. <laughs> Got it. All right. Well, I'm super curious. What's what's the next one? Oh, the second theory? Um, so this one, um, I have the article up right now. I'm reading it. Um uh, Queen Elizabeth was said to have drank from the fountain of youth at a very early age while visiting Africa. Um, and so because she drank from the fountain of youth, that was how that was how she was able to live uh, 96 years. But then uh, she wasn't able to um, 
the, the only thing is she couldn't reveal the location of the fountain of youth. It was a very, you know, close, uh, closely kept secret to the monarchs. Um, and I guess a lot of other of the monarchs, uh, or other family members have also, uh, were able were shown or did drink some of the water from the fountain of youth. And so a lot of them are going to live pretty much forever now. Um, and actually the queen didn't die. She was assassinated. Um, it was all planned out. Um, and, um, there was uh, some fo- like uh, what's his name? Who's the new king now? George king Charles the Third. Charles, Charles the third. George and so Charles George uh, <laughs> got uh, hired some uh, people. They're like, hey, listen, we're both gonna live forever, but I'm trying to be king one of these days. You know what I mean? And people wouldn't suspect it if she she croaked at 96. So here's what I'm gonna do. Your boy's just gonna straight, you know, throw some arsenic in her like uh, freaking her tea. Her, 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 she has her, seven tea and cake. No, what's it called? Her, her um, uh, what's the pudding that old people eat? Tapioca. She's gonna freaking. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> she's gonna freaking get some arsenic in her tapioca, and he mixed that stuff up. It's like, hey, go, grandma. She's like, thanks, Sonny, and then freaking hey, died. <laughs> thanks, Sonny. Mm. Mm. Um. So this would line also up. So this lines up with Africa as well. I mean, she if she drank from this fountain of youth, now she's over here like. Oh, I hey, didn't even think about that. She did go to I, Africa. Huh? I'll, you were just I'll saying dedi- that. I'll dedicate my life because I'm going to live forever. Yeah. Right. So it's yeah. easy dedication. Uh, also would explain why she had Princess Diana murdered. So. Um, oh, true. Big true. I mean, Princess Diana Whoa. was one of the, Princess Whoa. Diana was like Kennedy, bro. She she wanted oh. to tell everybody everything. She was all about the people. She loved the people. She was probably like, we should be sharing this with people. And they were like, nope. Yeah. And she's like, Grandma, I'm going to tell the world about the Fountain of Youth. And she's like, not yeah. over my immortal body. And then freaking snipes her from a whatever. Yeah. The funniest one that I saw, because, <laughs> you know, TikTok and the internet is a deep place. Just deep. It is. is uh, yeah. You got to be that, careful. The correlation between Prince, the singer, dying and him dying on her 90th birthday. What? And that basically yeah, that he that was back. he was indeed a sacrifice to elongate her reign. Oh, like a oh, spiritual thing? What? Well, not even spiritual. It, it, well, essentially, yes, but they just call it a sinister connection. He dies at the same date and time as her birthday party. As whose? Diane's? As, as the queen's. No, no, no. I, oh. I, I'm mentioning like the sacrificial nature of sacrificing someone. Oh. It was an accident that killed Princess Diana. It was a accident that killed Prince. Right. So are you saying that she used her demon alien powers to like suck the life from these people, draining their life force and gaining years? Maybe the fountain youth requires a sacrifice. Maybe it does. Well, maybe it does. Maybe you have to maybe kill someone close to you. Yeah, well, mm. so, she was super close with Prince. It, mm. She was like, I love Purple Rain. I love it. Stop. So, <laughs> where, was there any more detail to that? I'm just curious. No, no, it's baseless. But it's, the, the oh. fact is, we're talking about connections, <laughs> stupid connections. Listen, I'm telling you, the internet's a deep, dark place. I think I, I saw one. So, there is an actual um, conspiracy, that is, conspiracy thing that I would like to, at some point, have a... I want to do a little bit more research on it, but... I, I, I've seen it the last couple of years, never really given anything, but apparently there's a, a person or a TikTok handle or whatever that goes by the name Q and uh, 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 effectively makes like predictions. And these predictions are supposed to somehow correlate to future events of some kind. I don't have it in front of me, but I was like listening to one today and I was actually looking at it and it, it is like, uh, not that it's legit in any way, but there is stuff out there. There was three posts made by Trump, which I got to bring up Cody because, you know, Trump. Right. But there were three what, posts. What about made, Trump? OK, I, I'm getting into it. It's just the fact that you, you believe Trump should still be president. You know, OK. Do you not believe um, Trump is president? We can talk about that. Um, well, we'll get to that. Are we'll you a Trump, Trump denier? Uh, not at all. Not at Good. all. Good. Good. You're um, a Trumper. Yeah, Trumper. <laughs> Trumper. Uh, I'm a, I'm a, what do, they, what do they call it? A, a MAGA radical, a MAGA extremist. Is that, that's what, that's what, that's what we are. MAGA extremist. We're, we're dangerous. Yeah. Dangerous. Anyways, um, he posted three pictures mm-hmm. of him with the queen. And I think, I think Melania is in one of the pictures or whatnot. But if you go to his Twitter, it's not Twitter, it's true social, but you go to his stuff and you look at his three posts. He posts one at nine twenty seven. 
nine twenty nine and like nine thirty or nine thirty one. Well, apparently in like twenty eighteen, the the person that goes by Q, and I'll have to find this stuff and send it to you because it's really interesting. But the guy that goes by Q that does predictive stuff. He has all three of those numbers related into posts that are days apart back in 2018. One says 927, one says 929, and one says like 931. There's no colons. There's no PM, AM. It's just the number. And then below the number, it's got a correlation to things. Um, And I wish I had it in front of me uh, to talk about because it's more interesting that way. But one of them was like, you know, um, like the time is near. Like in in the final day, like it's it was real cryptic in the final days. The second one was um, she had been doing things all along. This day was coming. Uh, the sinister evils of the past have caught up with her. And then the last one was uh, ten pl- or ten days of re- uh, ten days of recognizing uh, the world will know. Well, when a queen or a king dies, do you guys know how long the coronation or the not coronation? That's the name of the word I was trying to think of earlier. The um the the remembrance or the funeral goes for? No, I just know there's like, it's, there's like it's multiple days. vigils and all kinds ten of days. other stuff. You, they have 10 days of essential it's, like remembrance or sorrow, right? It's about 10 days. It's nutty though, but these are from 2018. They have the same numbers and it, all these things kind of match up and correlate. So I'll have to find them and send them over to you, but it was just like this really like eerie trippy thing. And most of what he does is kind of cheesy, but other people, it's kind of like um, the Simpsons effect. Or it's it's more Simpsons than it is Family Guy, but there's that one thing where um they predict something in a, in a cartoon, and then like five years later that yeah. thing happens in real life. Uh, people are like, "Is this person a a a is he from the future, a, a time traveler, or some kind?" But anyways, so that came up in the mix of all this because those three pictures got posted and they matched up exactly with what Q had said. Re- kind of, not really, but they were related. They were just three pictures of the Queen. He didn't put any text. Um, and then Q had things that correlated specifically with the queen, but it had those three ti- essential timestamps. They were just three numbers. They were correlated with the timestamps of those posts. So it's just trippy, weird stuff that just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. And how do you, how do you, you can't really reason that away. Uh, but somehow, you know, we can still try to reason that Cody's right. And that she's a cyborg that died or, in the thirties. Or she, she drank from the fountain of youth in Africa and, has been on a murder I mean, maybe page, maybe she killing, did di- killing diana and yeah. pence maybe she did maybe she did maybe q is god and um <laughs> maybe uh and he likes to use twitter well yeah of course he's on twitter <laughs> can't, can't not I mean, be on twitter i mean yeah if you're gonna get your your points out there right it doesn't matter right. anymore i mean how are you gonna prove to everybody so do you guys have any other things that you guys can think of things yeah related to the 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 royal family i mean princess diana i think is probably one of the bigger conspiracies because so much stuff was around it um yeah but you we could do a whole episode on that you you could you could the whether or not she was really killed by you know the pursuant of paparazzi or if this was all kind of egged on by the royal family because she was making such a stink i know that everybody beloved her but she wasn't really a good person (laughs) if you really break it down and you look at the things um, her and Charles were terrible for each other, cheating on each other constantly, and she was causing a ruckus for whatever, but she was the the people's princess, right? And so she was loved by everybody else. Um, Listen, I think all these families go way back money, and they're all dirty as all get out, bro. Yeah. I, I just, I, I, I'm confident of it. Well, you know, it all ties back to power, right? Yeah, there, lots, there, there, lots. Anytime, anytime, anyone. And that's where... It, it really starts to become less partisan, right? The idea that it doesn't matter what side of the aisle you're on. Like, I think it doesn't matter. I think that there is evil on both sides. I think there's people that want to grasp and hold on to power for as much as, as long as possible. And I mean, I think it's in our, unfortunately it's in our nature to do so, right? We know that, yeah. you know, sin and all that it, it, we're, we're drawn to it. We're drawn to power. We're tra- drawn to control. We're drawn to, Anything that we can have within our grasp. I mean, essentially, we don't like to be out of control. Who, who here really likes to be out of control? Um, I don't. Right. I don't want to be at, at the wit of some or the the you know the extent of someone else's control. And so, I think what it comes to is once people gain that power, it's really hard to walk away from it. 
Right? I mean, I there there could be an argument made, and I don't know that I agree with this because you think of the lineage and the what the family was and how the royal was back then. But there could be an argument made that what the King Edward the Eighth did in abdicating the throne was in, incredible. Like it was terrible for his family. He shouldn't have walked away from it, right? Because he had a responsibility to his family based on what their culture was and how he was raised. But he did it for love, and he did it because he didn't want to be a part of that anymore. Now, he used and abused the family for years to come, like I said, getting money, taking advantage of it, all the things, whatever. But he, by abdicating, sacrificed a bunch of stuff. And that same thing could be said about Harry, I guess, too. But it's, you know, I don't know. I know. you as an, as an American, I'm like, yeah, cool. I understand why you stepped down. You don't want to be king, right? Like, we don't care about that stuff. It's all, it's all a facade now. Um, but could you guys imagine if you were king, you know, you were going to be heir to the throne, you were going to be king, and you were going to have all – I wouldn't even call it responsibility. It's really just perception. Um, would you guys abdicate or walk away from it? Um, I would uh, I would advocate uh, to be part of the throne. Um, but in order to do a good job, I'd probably have to sell my soul um to the well, uh intergalactic demons and i think it all comes back to intergalactic demons um like you're saying before <laughs> um because that's what's really going on here i think that the reason why jfk died and princess diana and heck maybe even everyone ever is intergalactic demons and i think that they are um sucking the souls from us for our life forces uh, i think that maybe that the queen made deals with the devil um to extend her life many many years in exchange uh some other souls she has captured over the years in her younger days um maybe she made some other bets with people for their souls <laughs> and uh harvested them kept them in jars and sold them for extra life force oh this um, is the most ridiculous oh, okay I don't uh, think that it's out of the question to assume that an old lady could be capable of such a thing. I mean, she was not always an old lady. Or was she? <laughs> hmm? Hmm? <laughs> I, think, I think you guys know where I stand. Speaking on intergalactic demons, did you see that he is basically done for? Alex intergalactic Jones? demons are, ba- are done for? Oh, Alex Jones. Who's that's Alex Jones? Where, that's where that statement comes from, right? No. No, I'm pretty sure that was uh, Neil's um, first words. <laughs> what? Yeah, Neil, Neil, uh, Neil Lance Armstrong. His first words out of the oh womb. Oh my God! Stop! Was stop! The Neil Lance Armstrong. Now we now we're just one person and two names. Neil Lance Buzz Armstrong. Yeah. Oh my gosh! You're ridiculous. Uh, no, I, if I recall, I believe it was Alex Jones that used to say intergalactic demons on his show. He, he this is way off topic, but he because of the whole Sandy Hook thing, he has to pay out forty five million dollars in damages. So his business is essentially done. That is legit. I think it was for. intergalactic demons who um, puppeteered that whole thing, Sandy Hook and all. Okay, all right. I think we've lost Aaron. I think you've completely broken him. I don't. Yeah, I, Man, what's listen, going on? I, I love. Why, why are you muting your microphone? <laughs> <laughs> oh, because I'm. Ty- I'm ch- I don't want you guys to hear me typing. I'm like, you know, you guys. Uh, I was trying to look up. There was uh, some stuff I seen on Facebook, and now I can't find it, and it's driving me nuts. Um. Anyways, there was like somebody had posted this this great conspiracy theory between Diana, Charles, and Elizabeth. And what was, what was uh, Diana's husband's name? Um, what do you mean, like Charles? Was, oh, her hers was Charles Charles, right? Charles the third. Yeah, she was married to Prince Charles, who's now Prince King. Charles. Yeah. Yes. So, anyways, and, and I couldn't find it. Wait, and were we not talking about like Prince, like the singer? Or we, we were. We were. We were that as well. As well as intergalactic, we were. Demons. That was a separate that. conversation, I, I, but yes, the, the idea I they were talking about care with your intergalactic demon. It was the inter- <laughs> <laughs> No, we were talking about Prince 
Prince and his death being a sacrifice to extend the queen's life for at least another six years. That's what the problem right, is. That, that's what I thought. I just thought we, I didn't know if you had like a pet name for Prince Charles. You were just calling him Prince to be like cute or no, something. No, no, he was talking about Princess Diana. So Princess Diana was married to Prince Charles the Third. Right, not Prince. Not Prince. No, I was trying to be. That's why I said Prince the musician because we're talking royal family here. So Prince is kind of a loose term. Um, no, Prince the singer, Purple Rain. You know. Yeah, yeah, she sucked the life from him with the help of the intergalactic demons. Yeah, sure. We're, we're on the same. Yeah. We're on the same same page. <laughs> Unless she like met a crossroads demon and just made a deal with the devil. Yeah, like, she yeah. probably fit, played a fiddle um, with the she devil. Went down to Georgia. Yeah, no, that's I, after Africa. I think she took a uh, swung a U and hit up Georgia real quick. <laughs> <Swung>. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is oh, this is literally you know and this just goes to show i mean i i i don't want anyone i mean we'd all die we all die let's yeah. I, i'm not trying to be insensitive we all right. die she was a a really a a cultural reference at this point she she really meant nothing to me uh because i have no reference for the throne of england but uh so to that being said and being all serious and it's like you know i don't want anybody like this is not a, our job we we make fun of things all the time but in all honesty it goes to show kind of the instant you know it is what it is is that the three of us are sitting here talking making jokes or not making jokes as cody's gonna say and this is all serious business here um <laughs> but it goes to show that like galactic demons it, it, We've America's just come a, far, a long way. We, we're just we're just we're, we're not just affected by these things. If we woke up to, and I'm, and I'm not speaking this into an we're existence, just, but we're, we're just better than them. I mean, that's what you're really that's what we're getting at, right, Andy? I mean, I don't want to you know <laughs> take words out of your mouth, but I'm pretty Quit sure you're just it up. Oh, yeah. Okay, so listen, yeah, listen. Cody, Cody oftentimes takes words out of my mouth and spins them. He's not wrong here. We are better <laughs> than. Hey, Britain. listen, listen, I'm going to give a little shout Greatest out to our, to our boy Eric, though, man. I mean, British has good comedy. They have good television. Well, they got to have something. BBC is great. Because they have, they don't have good teeth <laughs> uh, and they lost the war. Swords. What was that? <laughs> we can move on. <laughs> Anyways. Can you clip that? Never mind. We'll go back. I'll get it later. <laughs> you, can't, you can't clip it now. <laughs> yep. Uh, dun, 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 but I mean, the, in all in all seriousness, like it, that, that's it. We're, there's more conversations to have. Like we'll see with the king and what's going to happen to it. But I think at this point, because of where we're at in society, I don't see it recovering and becoming a full blown monarch before again. I think it's always going to kind of become this social justice framework where. I have a feeling, and I hope that's not the case, but I have the feeling the king is going to make concessions and changes that the Queen Elizabeth would not have because of her where she came from and the time she grew up in. Uh, Charles has had a different. He hasn't really had to do anything. It's Even though he's been royal and he's grown up royal, you see his kids acting out in a way. Well, I'd say kids. Really, it's kid. I think William's been fine. But they're acting out and doing things differently than anybody else in their royal lineage, lineage would have. So it, just like... Yeah. You know, he's, awesome. he's gonna he's gonna press the nuke button, bro. And he's like, you know what? I'm going out with a bang. I finally got some some power. Maybe, Boop. maybe done. But nuke him. I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but it feels like his oldest son has more is more put together than he is. Yeah, I, I mean, I could be wrong. He, you know, him and him and Kate. Um, but we'll see. I mean, K plus eight. I, I really, I re <laughs> I really don't care. That's the the honest truth is that it doesn't affect me. It doesn't affect my world. And maybe it's different for people that live there because I know there's a reverence to it. But for me, it just, I, I like, I'm you're honestly, you're more affected if like one of your favorite actors die. Right. Like be yeah. real. Like you're like, Oh God. Yeah. Real? He died. Oh man. Like I saw that the queen died. I was like, Oh dude, the queen died. And then I moved on. I mean, only because she was 96 and you felt like she would never die. Um, but somehow I'm going to guess the sacrifice fell through. So she wasn't able to extend it another six years. <laughs> My reaction was like, oh, they have a king now. Good for them. Good for them. Right. 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 <laughs> I always heard there was a king of England. I just never saw one. Now we now we get to see what kind yeah, of king he's going to be.
He got the button on. He I hope he pulls the swords button. out. I hope I hope he brings back like you know old school king hood. He's like no more guns. Knights, knights of the Round Table. Yes. Yeah, every time they go to war, they have to dress in knight armor and they have to have swords. Yeah, well, we weren't we just having a conversation about this, Cody? Where we should bring back the old sword ways fighting. of dealing with conflict. Yeah, yeah sword fighting, to death. Yeah. yeah, fight to the death. Absolutely. Yeah, I think guns oh, really. Medieval, like, medieval times, really, but for real, for real. Yeah, for real, for real, to the death. I think lit. guns really uh, leveled the playing field a bit too much. Kind of took scale out of it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Super lame. Well, so, I mean, I saw I saw you guys shoot this weekend. It, it's definitely needs a little <laughs> skill. <laughs> it does. It requires some. Hey, so before before we close, though, I, I want to throw a fun question out there. If you guys, if, if Queen Elizabeth had died yes. and one of you had become king, what yes. would you do? Yes, I would. No. <laughs> what would be? What would you do? What would be your first thing if you were the king? Do you really have to do anything? I would probably ask. Like, what, what goes through your head? Like, if you're like, "Hey, I, you got you got this letter in the mail." By the way, you're the direct lineage. You're going to be taking the throne. What do you do? I'd I'd become king. Uh, I, I would uh, hands do down, it. hands down. Never have to work again. I mean, let, let's be real. If all they have to do is read a box that comes to them in the morning, like, are they really doing a lot? Let's let's be real. <laughs> are, is, are they going to get usurped? Are they going to get kicked out? Like they're the royal family. Come on, right? So My for first, me, you know, go ahead, Cody. I was just going to say I, I'm going to come up with more. I'll let you talk. But my first order of business is to install Dr Pepper on tap. Um, <laughs> Ooh, and I want to change my first. Yeah, <laughs> I want to change my first. <laughs> I like that. It was that was different. How do you know it's not already there? I know it's not already there. They got like tea and crap. Listen, <laughs> Prince Charles is like, listen, I've been to America. That that sweet talk to Pepper. None of them look like Pepper drinkers to me. And I know a Pepper drinker when I see one. Mm. Mm. Touche. <laughs> so the first thing you do is put Dr. Pepper on tap. Right. Huh? And then like, interesting. I, I want a... Uh, you guys ever played Skyrim? Yep. Yeah, you guys uh, remember when you got that armor bearer chick that followed you wherever you went? Yeah, you're gonna get an armor yeah. bearer check. I would have an armor bearer check, <laughs> and she has to follow me everywhere I go. The shield maiden, and like I, yeah, shield maiden, exactly. And I can't like she just has to carry stuff for me all the time, no matter what, and no matter where we go, <laughs> and and yeah, sometimes she, cards. <laughs> and sometimes she she'll die, uh, and I'll get a new one. Uh, like sometimes she'll like she'll take an arrow to the face for me. Like if I'm being shot at by archers, she'll she'll take one for me, and then I just move on. And she that's it's her it's 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 her honor to be able to serve as my uh, shield maiden. So yeah, second order business shield maiden. Um, mm. Third order Dr. business on tap is and shield maiden. Third order business is diet Dr Pepper on tap. And <laughs> <it's so dumb. laughs> um, thank you. And, uh, That's that one's for me. Yeah, that one's for you. Um, and then also Diet Coke, uh, because Diet Coke is bomb diggity. Um, and then um, if I don't already have my crown, I'd probably get a sick crown. Um, and then I would instantly hire like three to four jesters, get them on a rotating clock. They would all be 24 seven gesturing all the time and just have them <laughs> gesturing around the castle, doing whatever they do. Um, they can do whatever they want. I mean, it's really up to them. It's really, if they want to progress in this career, they're going to have to prove to me that they're worth progressing. And if they want to raise, they're going to just have to earn it. I don't even know what they need to do. It's really, Th that's the entertaining part. You have to entertain me and you have to make me enjoy you. And if I don't, then you're fired. And if you do, you get a raise. I mean, it's really, they, they get all the creative freedom in the world. They don't even have to stand still. They can follow me around with my sheared bear if they want to. It's really up to them. It's a very open-ended kind of position. Um, let's see what else. Um, uh, I get <laughs> someone to drive me around a lot. Because uh, you, you already know I ain't driving anymore. Um, you're not going out anymore. If you're the king, I'm going out. I'm going out yeah, all the time. 
You get to fly to all the countries. If I don't go out, then my sheared bearer never gets to take an arrow to the face from me. So I have to go out to get a new sheared bearer when I want a new shield oh bearer. Oh my god. Um, and I got to show people my shield bearer, and she's got to carry stuff for me when I go like shopping or pick up random stuff off the ground or whatever, you know. Like I'm like, oh, I like this stick. You will carry the stick for me. You can go ahead and wrap it up. You live. This is uh, this is going down a hole. Cody, Cody is broken. <laughs> This is great content. I don't know why. I'm sure that all of our listeners are like, this is the best podcast I've ever listened to. I just want 24-7 nonstop Cody in my ear telling me his wishes as king of England. The disgusting part is that it's literally what I hear. I know. I, I'm, I, I'm disgusted by it. It's. I mean, it's. I mean, I don't. I don't know what to do with all these sweaters. Um. The ones with my face on it. Um, <laughs> episode one. I think I mentioned making silhouette. Oh, yeah. yeah. Not now. I don't know what to do with them because people want Cody. Oh, what else? Uh, Let's I'd wrap probably, it up, man. This I think I'd open up a card shop in the in the. Uh, actually, that's right. Yeah. We're playing. We're playing magic on the royal table, dinner table. And then I didn't part. Uh, Gavin Verhey to to the castle to play him in magic and then we would like play magic and then he would have to lose to me that's that's the rules um, and then um, uh, let's see and then he has to buy stuff from my card shop or else I'll behead well, him um, I think uh, I think we we have gotten a great idea of what would happen if Cody is king and uh <laughs> Maybe, um, maybe it's a good thing he's not. Though it sounds fun, it, it sounds wild with your shield maiden and, and a whole lot of women dying. If you would like to be part of my kingdom and want to fund my kingdom dreams, please uh, donate to our uh, <laughs> Patreon um, and support us. Um, and also just Venmo uh, me money. And yeah, maybe my, I my can last be, note is with because the, I'm related to Cody, I would become a duke. Yeah, there you go. There you go. He'd be, he'd be the Duke of my cousin down the street well, from Windsor <laughs> Castle. Well, Twist the world, fam. <laughs> Cody the King, that's what it would look like. And uh, as always, Terrifying. we love you. We're out. Peace out. Trump is president.